Good evening. Good evening, uh, uh, Imperial Valley. We welcome you this evening for another another uh, uh, evening of uh, Treasure Room. I welcome you to another exciting new Treasure Room. The Lord has blessed us with another opportunity this evening to bring another exciting testimony here from the Imperial Valley. Before I, before I introduce uh, uh, my co-host and our guest this evening, first of all, I thank you, Jesus, for this evening, because without him, none of this would be possible. So this evening, I would like to see if you can subscribe Hit that like button, share, and uh, this evening I have my co-host, Brother Daniel, and we have uh, uh, the Vasquez family, Brother Steve Amen. and Sister Carolina. Amen. We welcome you this evening to the treasure rooms. Uh, uh, this evening we have a topic of uh, uh, your testimony. Tell us about yourself, Brother Steve. Amen. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the Lord for my salvation, amen. For his, for his grace and mercy, I won't be here today, amen. Uh, amen, amen. You know, I was once lost in bond in the streets, amen, uh, Imperial Valley, where I was born and raised, amen, all my life, I mean, I was raised up uh, as a child around drugs, amen, and, and gangs, amen, so my lifestyle was, I mean, I always wanted to be a, you know, follow gangs, and then, you know, wanted that easy money, amen, in, in my life, amen, and I thought that that was everything in life, to have fast money, and, and going out partying, doing drugs, that, you know, that was a, uh, the thing to do, amen, as a kid, amen, but, you know, and then me as being so prideful, amen, I always wanted that, that respect, amen, and, and they want to answer to nobody else but myself, amen, but, um, you know, and later on in life, I knew that I wasn't getting nowhere in life, amen, the only place I was getting was, you know, behind bars, amen, or, or, or you know, I just thank God that he had his hand upon my life, because, you know, I'm not six feet deep, amen, yeah. amen, and so I just give him all the grace, you know, and all the mercy, man, that I'm here to dare to let you know that, you know, that we serve a merciful God, amen. Come on, somebody. Amen, a, a powerful God, amen, that he changes lives, I and mean, he gives us the hope and the desire, man, to, amen, to continue, you know, to live for him, amen, his will, amen, not our will, amen, and, and I just thank him, amen, that, you know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here, man. I, I you know, at one point I was, I, was, I you know, losing my family, man. You know, I thought I was, you know, you know, I had an overdose, hey, man, and, and, and a couple times, and it was just like, you know, and it hurt me so much. It killed me, ate me up so much inside that, you know, my kids had to see it. You know, my kids seen it one time, and you know, it. it, it my young son was kicking me in the head. Get up, dad! Get up, dad! And my other son was trying to call nine one one. It's just like you know, and that and, you know, waking up to to that, knowing that 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 ate me up inside, and 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 then almost losing one of my kids. And man, it's like man, like you know, I wanted to take my own life. I mean, yeah. at one at one point, I mean, and, and Sister Carter, how, I'll stop you real quick. Sister Carter, how was that to you though? What what, did, what was it like? I mean, uh, I mean, I know it's not something nice or or light, you know, to to see the, uh, your 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 co-pilot, to see your partner, to see your your uh, um, how should I say it? Um, your partner, you know. It was hard. It was hard. I'm kind of like I was used to it, but I think that was the tip of the iceberg. That was it yeah. because that was the worst. His worst. His worst. Yeah. Like that was his lowest. His his rock bottom. That was it. And for me to see it like that, and and actually his kids see it, I think that's. That's what threw me back, you know. In the lifestyle, I mean, we, all, I mean, the lifestyle that we lived that time, it, it, that kind of stuff was okay, no? It's norm. Yeah. It's, it's norms, norm, you, you know? know. And me, like you said, growing up with drug addict families, you know, yeah, like, you're used to it. Yeah, it, it runs in the family, so it is what it is, and you're used to it. But this was different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This hit home, you know. You know, we're spiritually blind, and we don't see. You mean? The, so, the can we bring the mic closer, please? You know, we're spiritually blind. We they don't can see barely the, hear you. The, the hurt that Closer. we're causing to our more. families, amen? Okay, there you go. I mean, we don't see the hurt that we're causing. We think that everything is fine and dandy, but, you know, in the inside, we know, we, you know, we're killing. We're hurting. We're hurting our loved ones, I mean. Do you believe at that time that Jesus was with you? Oh, yeah. Well, if it was for him, man, I wouldn't be here today, man. I, yeah. I know that he always had his hand of protection upon my life, man. You know, because... Back in 2002, amen, I gave my life to Christ, amen. Amen. You know, I gave my life to Christ, and, and I was faithfully serving him for three years, amen, and, you know, and, 
you know, and I backslid it, man. And yeah. I backslid it and, and, and I went into the world and, and like they say, it's seven times worse. And, and I believe it because, like, you know, I, I, I distanced myself from God, and, man. I thought that I knew it all, that I had all the right answers, but, you know, I didn't, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and I hit rock bottom, and, man. But I believe that. But God started it, man. He finishes it, man. Come on, somebody. Amen. I believe it. I, 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 uh, I'm a firm believer in that also. Amen. And I believe that he that he called me back, I mean, man, for, for a reason. He didn't call me back, you know what I mean, to shrink, amen, and, 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 and he just throw in the towel, amen, you know what I mean? Amen. Amen. So I believe that he gives me the strength. He's the one that gives me the strength every day, man, to keep on striving and, and forward, amen. Without him, I can't, I can't do it, amen. 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 Sister Gata, were, uh, were you, did you guys, any of you guys have Jesus, like, growing up in church or, or during kids or, or childhood? I did. You did? I grew up Catholic, so everything I knew was Catholic only, and uh -huh. for me to be in, in the Christian side now is different to me, so it's new to me now. Amen. But before, it was just like, I went to catechism because I had to. Yeah. I did my first communion because I had to. Mm -hmm. I did my confirmation because I had to. It's what my grandparents wanted me to do. So, my grandparents raised me good, but... I had absent parents, you know, uh -huh. they were off the hook and my grandparents, thank God for my grandparents, rest in peace, but they're the ones that brought me to where I'm at now. You were also raised out here? Mm -hmm. Are you from here? Yeah, in the east side. And I, oh, sorry. And uh, <laughs> let me tell you that, <laughs> that uh, was it hotter back then? Is it still hot like it is today? Has it always been hot? Heat? Oh, yeah, it's, it was, for me it was hot. I, Winter hot and <laughs> hot with the police, I man. It, it hot all around, bro. Hot all season, huh? Even at night. Even at night, I mean, it was, it was, it was like I couldn't even go nowhere with her without the, you know, yeah, pulled over. You know, I was a well-known, you know, drug pusher, man, and yeah. gang member, man. Like, you I mean like, so like everywhere I went, it was like there he goes. I mean, you know, I, I reflect. I reflect a little bit back in, in my personal, like the older I got, not realizing the deeper I was going into that lifestyle, into the same, to the, it was not only was a repetitive thing, it was a, a recidivism, a, a going back in and out of jail and back and forth. Uh, you know, it was just like if, uh, like if I almost, I'm not, I'm not, I'll be transparent, I, I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna say I didn't, because every single time I got out of jail or every single time I sobered up, I would do it again. And I would just, I would do it to the, to the, I would fall again face first, you know. And it's just something that I think that we continue to, 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 it becomes a behavior, you know. And today, I was at work today, and, and today we uh, was breaking concrete with a, a 90 pound uh, jackhammer. And I was, the Lord was ministering to me as I was chipping away at the concrete. He's like, this is what I'm doing to you. Amen. You know. And this machine is so heavy and it's loud and I got earphones and I can hear it and the Lord is just ministering to me today. Just like I'm sweating, my arms are cramping up and everything. And he was literally, the Lord was telling me, this is what I'm doing to you, you know. And so that old behavior that we had, that we grew up with, it, it started to develop callous, you know. And I think that's why we don't see it in our eyes or whatever, our walk. But, you know, the Lord is there, like, you know, like you said, that you're a firm believer that when he started, he's going to finish, you know. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You know, and like, it had to it had to take for me to hit rock bottom, bro. With me for you know, I guess God works in mysterious ways. You know what I mean? Yeah. God works in mysterious ways. Is I guess that's what it took me almost losing my family for me to open my eyes, man, and for me to fully surrender to God, man. Yeah, man. Because I never asked my wife that I needed help. I mean. Yeah. You know, I never asked, but I told her, you know, I you know, I want help. You know. You know, I seen that today. I seen that. Uh, uh, you know, um, I seen how I got to see with my own eyes what it's like to you guys to reform like together, to come together in the things of God. And I think that's awesome, you know, and it's just to see another couple do it, you know, it's just it's uplifting, you know, to see how much how God and how real he really is, you know. And then, like you guys both together, you guys stuck it out. You guys been together through the through the through the whole mess, through the whole madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, you know, I'm grateful for, you know, God put him my wife in my path because like she for what i've been through man and she stuck it out with me man like mm -hmm. you know she was there for me through thick and thin and man like you know and and, she, and i'm just grateful man that, you know because she could have just ran out and left me anytime and mm -hmm. yeah. she stuck it out and, and 
you know, and I just like, man, like, I guess God gave me, blessed me with a good wife, you know what I mean? Amen, amen. Stick by my side. And, a soldier, and, huh? Amen, and, and, and she gave me uh, four beautiful, handsome boys, amen? Yeah. Amen. Shout out to King and, and Steven and, Ad and uh, Juju and, and, Juju. and, Juju. and Sebastian. <laughs> yeah. I even got nicknames, you know? <laughs> I've been to tell you, they so males, they got nicknames, you know what I mean? Amen, amen. And, but the Victory Home, that's where, you know, God, you know I mean? You know, I cried out to God and I and I asked him, man, because you know, my kids, I got taken away, man. I mean, because mm -hmm. of me, I mean, not because of my wife, but because of me, I mean. But um, they were saying that you know that we weren't gonna get our kids back in so long and this and that. But you know, I I I, I broke down and I cried and I asked God, man, like, man, if you're for real, man, you know, you know, and and you're faithful, man, and. and you know, I you know I give you everything, man. You know, I will give you my life, and, and and you know, and the Bible said he asked it's better not to make a, a vow if we're not going to keep it, right? I mean, don't be a fool and not, not say that, you no. know, and, and make promises to God and, and not keep them, right? Mm -hmm. So I like I, I cried, and, and, and my brother, he was my direct, he's my witness. I mean, I, I cried out and I poured out to God. And, this guy right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. man. <laughs> and I seen his faithfulness. And Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Man. Amen. His movement, man, within months, man, like, you know, I got to see my kids, and then within, like, five months, six months, they were back home with my wife, and, man, I like, God, like, you know, like, we do serve. And uh, you have, a, you have a, a certificate, don't you? Yes. Yeah, you got them back, right? Yes. Yeah, I got a Praise the living God, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, they have a, uh, they actually, they went through a, they were, in the, I, I say in the negative, you know, something, what I say by the, in the negative is, is they were, they probably had this this feeling upon themselves like you know they were in a hole but you know what right here they're living proof that the lord is faithful in their works and and we uh uh mandatory that we have to do the work also you know and you guys did the work huh you well, guys yeah, did the yeah. work and I, I you know i did my classes and man I, I did my anger management i, I did my parenting and man you know and i continue coming to church and man and like i mean faithfully like i mean and being involved in the ministry, man, and you know, God gave me favor, man. Yeah. God gave me favor in the course, man. And when we went to court, they were like, they were surprised. I mean, even the judge came back, came out, and gave us, a, shook my hand, and goes, man, he goes, not too many dads do this, man. Like, yeah. you know, you know, and and, and I was like, bro, like, bro, like, thank you, Jesus, man. Like, oh, man, man, you got all the glory, man, because I mean, it was for him, you know, you know. You know, Sister Cara, you it's okay. You can yeah. chime in anytime you want. You know, I think it it was worse this time because they were already taken from me before. Uh huh. So he was in prison. He was doing a term, and I thought I knew it all too, and I wanted to do the same thing, thinking yeah. I was bad. And they took the kids from me because I got raided. They took the kids from me, and I went to feds. And so it was harder this time because it was a second time around. You know, and so this time I've been clean all these years. I've been clean ten years, whatever. You know. And so I was still empty in my heart. I still wasn't feeling right. I wasn't finding the peace that I wanted. Mm -hmm. And then this situation happened. And so I think because of the severity of what happened, it was a little worse, you know. But I think not not exactly what happened that I'm I'm grateful for, but I'm glad it happened. Amen. Because it, it changed who I am and what I'm doing. And it changed what he is and what he's doing. And our family's back together, you know. And we're all praising Jesus. In Come on, somebody. Amen. From the little one all the way to the oldest one, you know. The hey, little one was singing this morning. I, I seen him so. on YouTube. Was it YouTube? Yeah, I, or yeah. On Facebook, yeah. On Facebook, <laughs> I seen a video. Of, he was just chilling with his arm, in the, you know, on the ride. And he was just singing away. <laughs> you know, he was chilling. Like, he was, oh, Jesus, you know, that, that's something, you know. I'm, I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm thankful that, you know, that God's, you know, broke the, the change and the, the curse of, of, of drug addiction in my family because I was the last one, bro, like, mm -hmm. you know, strongly using drugs, amen, and, and selling drugs, amen, and, and I'm just glad that, that God broke that curse, amen, so I won't have to pass it on to my kids, amen, that I will be able to guide them right, amen, and amen. be there for amen. them, amen, and, you know, and and then I feel good, man, like, I feel good because, like, I see my kids and, you know, they start praising God and worshiping God, and I'm like, man, you know, it's, it's a blessing bro. seeing the joy in them when they get ready to go to church too huh because yeah, they know yeah. what they're all excited huh i don't know yeah. exactly what was said the other day but um little steven told him you got to go pray to jesus yeah, <laughs> and i was like what happened <laughs> oh yeah because we're i'm going to my sisters and and all of a sudden he's he's, he's praising god like I me mean, like so i start recording him like and then he's uh and i'm telling you who's your savior and he's uh 
Jesus, God, Jesus, God is my savior. <laughs> and I said, and he's, uh, I said, hey, man, he goes, Dad, you need to pray. Uh, <laughs> you need to pray, but it's, it's a blessing, man, to see that. You mean that God is working within your lives also, amen? Amen. Young, young age, you mean? You mean, but. If somebody would have told you in the beginning, like, uh, like uh, uh, that those children didn't belong to you, they belonged to Jesus, you probably, what would you have thought? Well, I know that, you know, like I said, like, you know, I was in the ministry before, you know, yeah. and, and, you know, they're, they're, you know, God's, God's the father of every, every, everything. Uh, my dad also, bro. That's right. If he's my yeah, dad. Mine too. Dad also, mine too. That's just yours. Mine too, you know? I mean, he's my dad. <laughs> he's their dad also, amen. Yeah. You know I mean, but, you know, but he's, he's blessing me, you mean, to be a father to them, amen, and, and, and that's the, it's the most precious gift anybody can get, amen, I mean, that, you know, I get to be a father, amen, you know, just like God guides me through his Holy Spirit, amen, 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 to, to make the right decisions, amen, and, and, you know, and convicts me when I, when something is wrong, amen, like, amen, I mean, not to feed into it, and, you know, amen. I mean, so, like, if it wasn't for the Holy Spirit, you know, you know, like, forgive me the guidance, amen, the wisdom and understanding what was good and what's bad, amen. Because I'm, you know, I'm not perfect, man. I mean, amen. I'm far from perfect, man, but, you know, but I know how to keep on striving and fighting, man. I mean, amen. You know, I know who to lean on, amen, and trust on, amen. Amen. So, like, that's, you know, I know that the victory is already ours, amen. 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 So, for the viewer, for the viewers out there, if you guys don't know, well, uh, instead of time that we take refuge, is to take ref refuge in the Lord. You know, He's our shield. He's our savior. He's our a provider. He's our healer. He's our doctor. He's He's everything. He's our father. You know, He's our parent. You know, He 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 nurtures us. He takes care of us. He will show us how to get through something. If not, He He He, he He's not gonna He's not gonna take you so here, son, and, and put you in the, in, the, in a place in flowers or flower beds. No, He's gonna help you through it. So you know how to get through that time and that struggle, whatever it is that you're going through. For the viewers out there, Brother Steve, Sister Carolina, what do you want to say to the parents or, or to the, you know, the broken families or, you know, what yeah. advice can you give to them? To all the parents out there that um, think that there's no hope in me and that, you know, we, you know, we serve a God that, you know, that gives us life and, and a purpose and a plan, amen. Like, you know, we were once broken, amen, and, and but he healed me and my wife, amen. He gave us a desire, man, to serve a, a, a you know, a mighty God, amen, and, um, if you're out there, you got a, a son that, that's hurting or lost in drugs, hey man, that that think that there ain't, ain't, ain't no no future, I mean, no hope, hey man. There's there's hope in Jesus, hey man, hey man. God, God, he's a, he's the a healer, hey man. He's a the comforter, hey man. You know, he's the one that renews our minds and hearts, hey man. I mean, amen. Every day, so we gotta have faith, hey man. So now, so like now that that you're you've been out the home, you got your kids back, you got your family back. How does it feel not to be a dad but sober and with your family in a whole different environment? Well, it's a blessing, man, because, like, my wife, my wife, you know, she told me, like, you know, I don't know the real you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know the real you, man. All these years we've been together, man, I don't know the real you, you know? Yes, I did. I mean, I want to I wanna, I wanna know the sober you, man, the, 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 the real man in you, man, that like, can... I said, all right, like, you know, and then, so she got, she's starting to see the, the, the new me, man. Like, yeah. you know, I want to hear Sister Carolina say, yeah. what, what is he talking about, Sister Carol? I, we've been dating since 2005. Mm -hmm. He had another relationship. I had another one. Mm -hmm. um, we were both on drugs. So I, then I got clean. I've been clean 10 years and I didn't know him clean. I don't know him now. Even now, like, I don't know this man. I'm still now getting to figure who he was and we've been together since 2005 what sense does that make you know mm -hmm. but now that he's clean and he has the right state of mind and he talks different he eats different he walks different we've never ate dinner together because he was always outside with the friends in the streets so wow. you know it's different that we eat dinner it's like a blessing for me to eat dinner with him Come when on. we eat breakfast together i'm like oh thank you jesus you know yeah. and it's it's different but i know him now and even now that i'm getting to know him Sometimes I'm like, oh, well, before he would be this, but I don't think about that anymore. Now I see the, the new him, and I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, thank you, God. You know, like, he is blessing me. He is, he is blessing our family, like, by all means. And when they say that you, you got to believe and trust in God, that, that's it right there. Yeah. That's right. That's it right there because, Amen. you know, they, 
they they tell you like you gotta trust in them and our kids were dead well my steven was he was gone mm -hmm. we were riding on the ambulance to the to the hospital and they were saying there's nothing they can do anymore they they, they actually gave up on yeah him. they told me they gave up and um san diego radies got there and immediately they started tubing him up and everything and he lived and mm -hmm. i prayed to god and i said I, I i'm giving you this child because i know that i've always told him these are my kids these are my kids these are my kids mm -hmm. and they're god's kids those are god's children Amen. And now, like, I gave them to, I, I've given them to him. I've That's given right. them my, myself, my husband, my kids, my whole family. And now he's a little happy Jesus. baby, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And, <laughs> you know, and he's striving, you know? That hair. To me, yeah. uh, you know, I think he's, to me, he's, a, he's a, my, my miracle baby that, you know, God used, amen, to save my life. Yeah, man. Amen. All of ours together. Everybody. Save my life, mm -hmm. amen, because that's when I, I truly opened my eyes, like, man, like, this is what you want for the rest of your life, man. Hmm. I mean, like, you know, it's, and like I said, man, like, I think that he, God used him to save me, amen. And continues, huh? And, and continues. continues. Amen, to be a key, amen, for my family, amen. 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 Because it wasn't for me giving my life to Christ, amen, and surrendering to Christ wholeheartedly, amen, you know, I don't think my wife or my kids will be in the ministry, man. Amen. Yes, and, and not just that, our family's coming too. My family, little by little. Notice that. Yeah. Notice that, that you know. My aunt, my, my nieces, man, they're starting to come to church, and, and that's a blessing to see, it, man. Like, I mean, like, what would I mean, like. You're bringing the whole block, huh? Yeah, man. Yes. I mean, like, that's right. <laughs> yeah. There's times where we have like two seats, ro like two yeah. rows that's, of seats full, you know? And, that's right. And, and that's, that's, that's yeah. my prayer is that I, I want to serve God with my whole family next to me. Amen. You know, That's like, right. When I was in the home, like, you know, my wife would come, like, to church just to see me, you know, on Sunday, you know, mm -hmm. like, and I, I tell my wife, like, you know, like, you know, you got to come to church, amen, and get a hold of God. I mean, don't come to see me, amen. I, mean, I need you to get a hold of God. I and mean, we need to be on the same page, amen, because me serving God and you being in the world, we're not going to, you know, we're not going to be, you know. Not be compatible. Same page, man. Yeah, like, you know we're gonna, you know we're just gonna be bumping it, and, and and she like looked at me like I didn't understand it. And like you know I didn't man, understand what he meant. You know, I know like you know like don't no, no you know I'm I'm gonna be here, man. Amen. I'm always gonna be here, but come in and hear the word of God, man. But I didn't I didn't push it on her, man. Mm -hmm. Like I, I let her grasp it herself, and man, like you know you, you know let her get a hold of her timing, man. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Amen. Because you know I don't wanna. You know, just like a baby, you don't want to feed her meat because it's going to choke, right? Yeah. Or get sick. You know I mean? Yeah, so mm -hmm. I let her hurt, like, you know, I hurt time, and, you know, and got in it, you know. God just, did it. Yeah, you know, it did, God, man. God yes. did. The other day, I don't know where he went, but he went out, and he came home, and I, and I ran to the kitchen, and I was so excited, and I was like, look, 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 let me tell you what I learned, and I was telling him these Bible verses and what I read, and he was looking at me, he was like, what? And I was like, I've been reading, I was like, is that, did I say it right? He's like, yeah, he's like, you got it, and I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. So I was excited, but like, I'm using that like to help me, because I know that he knows the word really good. Mm -hmm. So I know if I have a question, like I'll ask him, or, or I'll just put it in the group, or I'll ask somebody, you know, and there's always feedback. So I got to you know, be happy that it's I have working. A, I have a random question for all all of us. When you guys read a verse or a story in the Bible, like whether it's in the morning, afternoon, however you're daily reading, whatever it may be, and you go back to it, like the next day or the day after, because I know you just don't read one thing, that's it. I know because if, does it mean the same thing to you or does it help you grow or does it make your interest? Does it interest, does it mean the same thing when you read it again? Yeah, I believe that. The word of God, you know, it, it it's a word of it to inspire us, amen. And and a lot of times, like, you know, I read it and I read once and I read it twice, and I think God work speaks to us in different it's ways. Alive. It's, no. it's, it's, it's alive. It's alive, right? Ways, amen. Oh. And I, and like, I remember I used to be reading the, the Bible and like, man, like, like Lord, what are you trying to say? Like, what are you trying to say? And and, and, you know, and then like, we'll be cruising down the road and I see a sign and so okay. That's what you're trying to tell me. You mean yeah. like me? Or, or like, I'll read something I couldn't understand, and then I'll go to church on Sunday, and, and the pastor preaching about it, like, well, that's confirmation. Like, all right. You know? And I think that the Word of God, you know, speaks to each one of us differently, you know, at, at different times. You mean like, you mean? So that's that's life, amen? I, uh, I, I, think, uh, I think that's the way the Lord nurtures us. Amen. That's the way the Lord waters us. 
feeds us, uh, uh, waters the plant, and grows, helps us grow. By stuff like that, like I, I've been reading this uh, uh, the, about the son, uh, David's son, how he became a king at eight years old. I've been reading that for this whole week, and it's and I'll read uh, I'll read it, and I still haven't like captured like I still haven't captured it all the way. But I'll read it. I read it again today, and it, and it, I took it with me today at work, and it's just the word is alive. You know, it's 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 a, it's the it's the way we nurtures us. He loves us so much that he continues to to help us grow. You know, and and um, we I think we needed that since the beginning. You know, but our, we went through what we went through in our own life, our own lifestyle, our childhood, for a particular reason. You know, to to and I learned that adversity is not bad. You know, adversity is for something for uh, for us to turn to him to catch our attention. No? Yeah. And I really do believe that what happened with you guys it was to catch your attention, you know. And like I have, we all have our own story, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, to see you guys here and to continue, you know, uh, if I don't see Brother Steve or you'll call me, and be like, hey, where were you at? You didn't go to church today, or I didn't see you, or vice versa. You know, we'll find each other, yeah, you know. Exactly yeah, I mean, like you know. And I just like to like you know, you know me like I'm always in, on, on, on sharing something, you know. On, on a, on Messenger or you mean or you mean yeah. or in the Guardian page or you mean you know, gives a word of inspiration, man. You mean like that's what you know. That's how I feed myself. You mean yeah. Every day, like you mean like first thing, like I, you know, I, I like to you know read something, and get, get fed, you know. Yeah, you know, and I believe it's not just you know it's not just on Mondays, you know. Oh, I, I no. really do believe or or Saturdays, you know. I think oh, it's like, every single day, you know. Day, no like, matter. You, you open the page, you see me like I'm. I'm, I'm Putting the word, man. yeah, word not just a, not just a few sentences. You put a straight paragraph. You know, yeah, I see yeah. it. You know, I got it right here. You know, I show you. you know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, we're, we're we're coming to a. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's it's to see that you guys are. You know, the Lord is doing in your guys' life. You know, and, and to get be able to get to know one one another. You know, is, is just awesome. And to continue to see what God's doing, and not just our lives, like everybody, like Brother Daniel here. You know, uh, uh, you know. It's just, it's awesome. You know, God is awesome. And, and, you know, he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, you know. So he's not, and he's got, he's, he's so powerful. He's got enough love for everybody. So if you're sitting at home this evening or, or you're sitting at home this afternoon, whenever it is that you, you uh, uh, click on the treasure room, just to let you know that the Lord is, is uh, he's omnipresent. He's everywhere. You know, as a matter of fact, he's just waiting for you with his arms open for you to cry out to him. He wants to hear you. He, he's your father. You know, he wants to hear what you got to say, you know, oh, you might be able to, you might say, oh, he knows what I'm thinking. Yeah, he does know what you're thinking, but he wants you to tell him, you know, he's not going to force himself on you. You know, he's a, he's a, a gentleman, you know, he's just waiting for you to call out to you, you know, and, and, it's, and it, he wants to know everything, you know, and that's what we do. We, we continue to sharpen ourselves and we, uh, our, uh, we work on our relationship with the Lord and that's fellowship, you know, reach out to him, cry out to him, read his word, you know, and, um, I thank you this evening, Brother Daniel, Sister Stephen, Sister Carolina. Thank you this evening, and we have to come to the closure to the to the um, to the end of the broadcast this evening. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> we have a challenge, you know. The challenge is this evening. You can either wrap it, and this is by direct orders. You can either wrap it or you can sing it, Sister Caro. It could be a song. And the oh, service. they got to do one? They, they got to come together. And, Wanna, then once, or, and then we're going to jump in. Together you know? or separate? Yeah, song, it could be separate. That's what, I, that's what we're waiting for, my brother, yeah. to hear your song. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know. Amen, amen, amen. We like. <laughs> oh, microphone <laughs> check, what check, check. check. Hallelujah. Check. It's good. You need a, a beat? Give Lord all the praise. You're going to rap? Come on. Worship him. Let him be, boy. Let him be, man. 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 man. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Come on. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. You're my living water. Living water. Never dying fountain. My comforter and counselor. To the camera, Take to the camera. Take control of me. Take control of me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> come on, somebody. <laughs> and, and he was right. I never heard that song before, but come on, somebody. I mean, <laughs> that must have been from the archives, huh? Uh, yeah, from back in the decade. <laughs> 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 you going to sing today? No, no, no. no, no. Next time. Uh, next time. Next time, all right. 
All right. Well, once again, Imperial Valley, thank you for, for tuning in for Treasure Room. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the hit the like button, share, please. Uh, hit us on the seven six zero Treasure Room g- at gmail dot com. We are uh, waiting for you guys to reach out to us. Reach out to us, and we can respond back. Uh, leave your name, however it may be. So we keep you in our prayers. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.